After the break, Chef Adrian Morris shows us how to make the perfect fried dumpling. Soon come. We know about sardines, yeah. mackerel, yeah. chicken neck, yeah. chicken back. Yeah. Nothing a waste, nothing a dash way. So, getting ready right now for the next, what time is it? For the next um, 45 minutes to go live and Smile Jamaica TV, J. You know, I'm still here in Canada, Ontario. Oh, I represent the same way, you see me? A few days ago, I was contacted by the, um, the Jamaica Observer and that interview went well. If you want to see that, I'll leave a link below and you can check me out there. You see me? I'm looking at the side of the camera. This up. You can check me out there. And today's topic is just how I became the YouTube sensation that I am today, the journey. Just a little um, backstory and more time cooking, you know what I say? And so on. So, they just they, they want to know that. And they, it, it's going to be a short session. It's going to be about an eight minute session. The lady, she can, she, the lady, um, Kayan, she, can, she contacted me, today's Friday, she contacted me on I think Tuesday or Wednesday, one of those days, Tuesday. Yeah, she contacted me on Tuesday, asked if she they could have an interview for Friday. So it's a very short minute notice. And it's gonna be a light show, meaning it's not gonna be very long. So about eight minutes for the show. And to tell my story and to cook. So I'm just preparing some fried dumpling for the team via Zoom that are, of course. So just some fried dumpling because it's breakfast time, early morning, 8 a.m. And what I find over the year is that a lot of people don't know how to prepare fried dumpling properly. That has always been one of the biggest requests I've gotten. So what a better way to show Smile Jamaica, show Jamaica worldwide and my fan base. Again, how to make the perfect fried dumplings, isn't it? So that's what we're doing today. I already have videos out on my YouTube channel on this. So watch out now. We're going to fry up some dumpling. Fry one batch and just leave a batch for a quick demo. <laughs> Yo! Me a baby the dumpling them. <laughs> Make sure it's a they look good. Don't think them pretty, yo. Look at them pretty. Well, me know me make pretty dumpling, but when you're nervous, you never know. That's why I'm watching cooking show. Them. So one of them there, in the future, I'm going to be on a cooking show and I'm going to win one of these cooking shows. But me know when you're going live on all the camera. But if me have a producer who is controlling all the lights and everything, I don't have to worry about me. I have to worry about the lights. Make sure you set everything in place. So if I have somebody that record me, I don't have to worry about the camera. Then I'd be better off. You know what I say? Right now the nerves them are kind of going like they don't want to have no behavior. Alright, you know. If you go over that side of my G, make way for the boss. Make way for the boss. Yes, make way for the boss. It's a nice color. Don't size up. Don't size up. Don't size up. Don't size up. Don't have a style. Don't have a style. Timers, you go for yourself. The support when I show from day one is tremendous. And for me, I know I haven't been on YouTube for over six months now, but I'm working on a book, working on myself. Sometimes I just need that mental break and just getting my life together the really sweet. Because for me, cooking is therapeutic. I love it. I love it people who follow my recipes and get great results if you can feed themselves and family. Get them I come from and a lot of people message me especially caterers, businesses and restaurants and say yo use your recipe and make, 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 make my own catering company, my restaurant and boom. I get these messages all the time. So this will do it for you. Feel them I fall from and for me to be on YouTube and not in the right place where my need to be, you're not gonna get the authentic me. And it's all or nothing for me when you come out to cooking. I rather, I, my last very j restaurant job, I quit because I was starting to not love food. I can't mean, make that happen. I once lost the passion of art and I will not let lose the passion of culinary arts. You know where I'm from? Yeah, man. 
So I don't peel them this and we know. Hold on there. Hold on no. And then this, you know. Like a money. Thank you, God. Make them dump and come out nice. You know what I say? Pray that you make this live interview go nicer. Alright, sir. Try one key camera show. Jesus. Oh God. God is good to me. I love him. Mmm. 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 A few moments later. After the break, Chef Adrian Morris shows us how to make the perfect fried dumpling. Soon come. All right, Johnny Cakes or fried dumplings are my favorite for many Jamaicans. However, not everyone knows how to make it crispy on the outside and perfectly soft on the inside, which is all I love it. Fortunately for us, we have Chef Adrian Morris to show us how. But before he does, let's find out more about the great chef in town. Good morning, sir, Adrian. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. What's going on, sir? Wagwan, well, wagwan, well, what's well, great? Good morning, Neblan. Good morning to the entire Smile Jamaica team. Yeah, man. And thank you for having me. It is our pleasure. Um, why is that? To, to cook and how long you start to cook and how you learn how to cook, all kind of thing. Tell me all of that. Uh, all right. So the story is a very long story, but no, I'm going to try to summarize long. it as best as possible. Yeah. Um, I started cooking from around 8, 10 years old, from bush cooking days. I grew up in Shudley, Manchester, in Jamaica. And I used to cook with my friends bush cooking. What is bush my cooking? Mom, what is bush cooking? Bush Bush cooking, you know, you have your friends them when it's summertime when you go, go into the um, wood shoot, bird, bring the pots out and you, you don't cook at home, you cook in the in the woods. So okay, okay. So that's that what we call bush cooking and we start out with our friends there. Okay. And then from there you now, I would cook for my older sibling and my younger sibling as my mom would have to work out as a domestic helper in those times. Yeah. So I would be the one doing all the cooking at home while she's out working. So who teach you to do all of that cooking while she's out working, sir? So before she, all right, so my dad passed when I was around 30. So before he I'm passed, sorry. my mom was, thank you very much. It's over 13 years now. So okay. my mom was, was a stay-at-home mom for the most part. So she would oftentimes call me in the kitchen on a Sunday and teach me how to grate the coconut and so forth. And teach me how to fry flitters, white rice. So those are the things. So once she's not around, then you know we, we, we can't really rely on snacks because that's expensive in Jamaica. Right. So it give us a hundred dollars and some cook lunch for you and your brothers today. So okay. that's where it started from. Right. Yeah. Before we go to the dumpling now, tell me about your KFC recipes. Where did that come from? <laughs> All right, the KFC recipe. So KFC was my very first job. KFC in Mandeville, Jamaica, the uptown store. Big up KFC. And thank you very much for that opportunity. So I work three to four years in KFC Jamaica and three years here in Canada. So with all those experience gained over the years, I don't know the secret recipe, but based on my taste buds and the experience of cooking it, I had an idea how what this what seasons to put together. So one day I was home and my wife was saying to me, listen, I haven't had popcorn chicken night in, in years because she would always travel back home. And she said, could you make me some? And when you make it, please just record it to the people. I mean, I say, sometimes I like cooking for me, it's therapeutic. So sometimes I like to just relax and cook. Other time I'll turn on the camera. And I'm, I'm like, okay, turn on the camera, record it, post it on my YouTube. The feedback in less than a week, I think I got 100,000 views. And people kept on requesting other recipes until I did the spicy chicken, which is, I think, over 1.4 million views and counting. And it just racked up from there. Fantastic. So this morning, Sim and I, we were talking about how we like uh, fried yes. dumpling. And I say I like it very crispy. And Sim said, no. I, so how, what is the right way to make it? And how you make it the right way? All right. So the right way, 
it, it, it's preference again because you realize Sim is saying she like she doesn't like it crispy and you like it crispy. How you get how you get it your way and her way crispy you add a little bit of butter your margarine. You can show me you can show me what I'm going while you're talking. So you want me to I have some ready already and I could fry some. So which one you want? The ones that no, right I want, here, I want I you fry some color. and then when you're done you show me that. So okay, fry some and okay. tell me how show me how you do it. But you have to talk All me right, through it. So. Me don't talk no you know, so talk me right through it. Okay, so the, the greatest part about fried dumpling, the, your temperature is your best friend, right? A lot of people tend to use too much of a high temperature, and so you burn the outside, and then the inside is um, doughy. So what you want to do, you want to start off with about 280 degrees Fahrenheit, and if you don't have a thermometer at home, you can just, yardman style, pinch a piece, drop it in the oil, and if it fizzes too fast, you know the oil is too hot. If the oil is too hot, you just add a bit of cold oil to just cool that down. So I have I have eight here. Don't know if you can see me right now. Yeah, man, I'm seeing I have everything. Four, I, have, I have a few that I've rolled out already. And a few, and I'm going to roll out one real quick. So I just cup my hands to get them perfectly rolled out. Mm -hmm. So cup and squeeze to get the perfect ball. A lot of people make it different. This is my way. So I got a perfect ball right there. Beautiful. How, okay. long you, how long you leave it in the aisle? Because we don't have much time. You only so have about, about 20 minutes. minutes. About 20 minutes in the aisle, but I have some fried. I'm just going to show you the beginning process to get them perfect. So the, the oil is not too hot. You're just going to squeeze, drop them in the oil. And you won't realize, you will realize that you have very small bubbles. A lot of people would panic at this point. This is not when you panic. This is perfect. Because if it floats to the top too quickly, as I said, the outside will become crispy. The inside soggy. So What you said, oil, you leave it in there for 20 minutes, you said? No, you fry 15 to about 20 minutes to get the perfect dumpling with the control temperature. You start out at 280. Yeah. And so once you have them in the oil, you realize they have very tiny bubbles, right? Yeah. And, and they will gradually just float to the top. A lot of people would say, no, they'll get saggy. That's what you want. You want the oil to seep in at the beginning and then you gradually increase that heat and then the oil on the inside will just cook it perfect and fluffy. And then when you increase the heat more, you crisp up the outside and you're good to go. All right, let me see the finished one now. All right, so the finished product, we have the finished product here. So this is what we look like, the way you like it. Sorry, Sim, this morning, we, don't, we didn't make it your way, because <laughs> I like it crispy myself. Yeah. So right there, they're nice and crispy. Break one, make so break, us see break, one. Break into one, yeah. break into one for you. Nice and fluffy on the inside, still hot and steaming. So that's what you get. So you realize it's not it's not soaked in oil as a lot of persons. No, man, that's what so, me start, like it. That's what me like it. Yes, because you start out with the cold oil. That's the perfect way. On my YouTube, I have around two videos with very detailed um, steps that could get you perfect fried dumplings. Morris time cooking. Fantastic, my friend. Who you want to say hi to before you go? So this one, I just want to say big up to Spalding High School in um, Clarendon, Manchester, Border. That's my first high, my high school that really pushed me to the forefront in cooking. And I want to say big special, big up to Knox Community College. My mom, Pauline Bailey, for always believing and pushing me. My wife, my brothers, all my friends. I can't call everybody name. And a very special person in my community that has been the force behind me whenever time I was um, down and couldn't have a certain stuff. Uh, Miss Nessa, big up, enough love, me love you. You helped me through a lot of stuff during those times. So... A lot of persons have contributed to where I am today, and I just want to say big up to them. Big up to Sunset Jamaica Grand, um, now known as Moon Palace. That's a hotel that really helped to push my career as well. Fantastic, my and friend. And KFC Jamaica as well. Yeah. Yeah, big up KFC Jamaica all the way. Really great to see you. You could have sent to the dumpling them for you, but I don't know. Um, next, next time. time next yeah. time. Once I, once I touch the island. I haven't been home in two years. So once yeah. I touch the island. All right. Good to see you. Stay safe. God bless all you. All right. Thank you very much. Safe travel for the travel. I'm going yeah. big up on yourself. Yeah, no flub. Yeah, yeah, man. All right. All right. Chef Adrian Morris from uh, Morris Time Cooking. The interview felt like a two-minute interview, but... I'm grateful for the experience and my little brother will just do a, a IG live and tell me say oh, you look nervous tonight little bit, you see me? <laughs> when you don't know the debut, we give thanks big up Smile Jamaica TV J team. Big up on yourself, no fluff for having me. And anybody out there man wanna reach out, reach out and we will to do the thing, you see me? And everybody out there where I do them thing, just keep on doing the thing. Nothing happened before the time and that's just someone leave that, you see me? 
no flow, me so forward tone again. Just I take a little mental break, get my thing right, get everything right, and then you don't know videos like crazy, bigger, better content, some different setup. You are gonna have some high end ingredients, high quality videos. No flow, you know. Until next time, see if travel for the gravel and go and big up on yourself.